My name is Kim Deffenderfer. I'm a senior vice president with California United Bank and the regional manager of the office here in the South Bay, located in Gardena. How did you get your first job and what was your first job? My first job was weeding other people's yards and, 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 and shoveling snow. And uh, then, uh, then I started painting houses and, um, and I'm mentioning this because a lot of people think, oh, my first job was, you know, at Apple Computer or something. Well, you know, that's not usually someone's first job. Someone's first job is something like when they do when they're kids. Because one thing I want to get across in this interview is that it's a building process from the time you, um, you know, you do things like uh, taking care of a neighbor's dog because... For example, I, I just talked to my mother. I was telling her that I was going to be doing this, and uh, there's a boy that lives next door to her, and he helped her take out the trash and that sort of thing. Well, he, he, a, swim, a job came up for a swimming coach in the local uh, private club, and she gave him a rec recommendation. Now, the next job he has, now he has on his resume that he was a coach at a swimming club. And uh, so, you know, that was, that, those were my first jobs, and that helped me build a resume uh, to get my first kind of real job outside of college. Actually, my first real job out of college was my own business. Um, I first walked, worked for, actually, I went to Europe for about a year and a half. I came back, and in Europe, I worked as a dishwasher and uh, kind of a general roundabout in a tennis club in France. And I went over to France with $60, and I came back a year and a half later with $200. And no one sent me any money. So I kind of learned how to survive myself, which was good practice for coming back to the United States. I worked for a, a friend who was a landscaper and did, you know, manual labor. And this is after I'd gone to college. And then I worked for a nonprofit um, that uh, did uh, help senior citizens and bring food to senior citizens. And then I uh, started a solar water heating business. And this was back in 1979, from 1979 to 84. And that's when I moved from San Francisco to Los Angeles. And we helped install solar water heaters and sell solar water heaters. I got my contractor's license during that time. So I was you know, building my experience as a business owner. And, uh, but the business was based on a tax credit. The tax credit went away. So it really wasn't economical anymore. So I had to kind of readjust my life. And I was about 29 at that point. And I decided to go back to graduate school. So I went to UCLA. And uh, then I suppose I got my first real job was, uh, was I got a job at a commercial bank. And I thought, you know, I'll go into commercial banking, I'll learn about commercial banking and maybe meet a customer and go into business with them or go into business myself. And here it is 25 years later. And I like what I do. It's, it's a lot of fun. What was the most useful thing you learned in college? I think the most useful thing I learned in college was that you don't have to do everything by the book. Um, I was in the Model United Nations, and uh, that was I met a lot of people and traveled, and I used that experience to get units to classes I was taking, various classes I was taking. I did, you know, I'll do a project on another country. I did a project on negotiations, and I'd give teachers these projects, and and uh, that satisfied certain units in those things. And so I think getting involved in that, and I was involved with student politics. I was uh, the um, advisory board. There was a student advisory board. I was a representative on the business school. And I think all those things, you know, being involved um, really helped me learn about. Um, actually, I had my first secretary because the people on the student senate had, had an assistant. And so I kind of learned to work with people that way. And it was invaluable when I went to, you know, a more office-type environment. What traits do you look for in a recent college graduate? When I'm talking to recent college graduates, I look for traits, the f traits like initiative um, that shows me that they're, they want to uh, learn things, that they're willing to do things, and that they have a tr track record um, of doing things. And uh, I think uh, some of the things that I've talked about, you know, that I've done, they don't have to do the same things, but uh, that they've, you know, taken initiative to, they're not scared to call someone on the phone and to do something, whether it's a volunteer opportunity, they could uh, work at a nonprofit um, or, you know, work at some, just doing something, not, uh, not doing nothing.
So initiative and activity. Do you think networking helps in job hunting? Networking is essential. Uh, essential. I, I actually am a big believer that, that uh, you know, I've taught some classes here, as you know, and uh, um, that I'll ask some students who are juniors or seniors, say, oh, you're a junior or senior, and how's the job hunt going? And they'll say, well, I haven't really started yet. And I said, have you done any internships? And they'll say, no, but I'm looking for one. Well, the time to start looking for a job is, you know, when you're a freshman in college. Actually, it's when you're still in high school. Start building that, that resume and those recommendations because it's, it's a building process. So internships are very important. And I honestly think people should start making connections because you don't get an internship just, oh, I want to get an internship. Can I just go get one today? It's Friday. I need one by Monday. Uh, you know, it's a building process. You have to know people. You have to have met people. And I sincerely think that people, when they're freshmen, should go to the job placement office and say, look, I need to make connections over the next four years so that by the time I graduate, I've done three internships or four internships. I have ten people I can call as my mentors. Because, you know, people who are older, you know, they love to help younger people. And so you don't have to have just one mentor because you want to pick different industries too. So I think that uh, you know, those, building those mentors and having those internships are critical. And I, you know, that's the kind of thing that I would look for. You asked about traits earlier. What we look for are people who know someone at the bank, honestly. Um, another thing I've told students when I teach these classes is that the, the reason that uh, uh, that very few people get jobs from sending a resume into a human resources department. Um, we have 112 people at the bank, and uh, I talked to our HR director recently, and none of them came from sending resumes into the bank. 100% of them came from people that other people in the bank know. So, um, you know, we do hire recent college graduates, but those college graduates have been connected to someone at the bank because they've made an effort and taken an initiative to get to know people as mentors or friends or, you know, I don't think it's really family. It's, it's really people who have impressed people throughout their college career somehow or another. Does your business hire recent college graduates? We, 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 as far as interns, as far as hiring interns, I don't know if, I think we do pay interns, you know, as far as hiring interns, we do have interns, and I think that's the same as recent college graduates, the same thing. We, we, the, the way we get those people is they're somehow connected to another employee, so when an internship comes up, um, you know, someone will raise their hand and say, hey, I know this person at Cal State University of Dominguez Hills, they've, you know, met with me a couple of times, I like to you know, give them a shot at interviewing for this internship. Do you think networking helps in job hunting? Well, if I can summarize okay. for a minute, you know, as I mentioned earlier, uh, I think that the time to start looking for a job and thinking about your career is when you're a freshman. And uh, now whether the people listening to this is a freshman or a junior or a senior, it's never too late, uh, but it's a building process. It is a building process, and the job placement area, I'm sure, can help you. And I, kn I know a lot of students do not go to the job placement center. They kind of walk by it, and they think, oh, maybe someday I'll go there. But uh, I think that and the people in it should really be a, a resource, and you should see them as a resource. But you have to take your responsibility yourself, and um, you have to start making connections. And you have to start building that experience level because people will say, well, you know, what have you done? What did you do in between the summer of your freshman and sophomore year? What did you do? Did you work when you were a student? Did you get involved with student government? Did, and so people are looking for people who take initiative. There are, it's a tough job market, I'll admit that, but there are jobs out there. And I think that the more people you talk to when you're a freshman and sophomore, the more people that you can get an idea of who's hiring and what skills they're looking for. And uh, you can maybe take some classes that are, um, I mean, a lot of people graduate with a humanities major, but, you know, maybe you should take some accounting classes or this or that because there's, just because you get into a company in one area doesn't mean that that's going to be your whole career. But getting a job these days is harder and sometimes that in, uh, means 
it, well, it always means having connections, but sometimes it means having certain kinds of classes, you know, maybe a little bit more practical classes than, than pure humanities. What is more important, career or job or both? Well, you ask what's more important, career or, or job, yeah. and I think career is, is the most important. You want to do something that, that you like. That said, you're, you want to get into the job market because you get into the job market, then you can build a career. And uh, every, everyone needs to put food on their table and to pay their rent. And so uh, it, it, the best thing is, is if you, like I said, you build this process so that by the time you're senior, you're, you do are landing in the career area that you want to. But I have had a lot of different jobs within banks, and uh, not all of them were what I wanted to do at the, at the time. But some of them were actually, in hindsight, very good for me to learn. So sometimes you take a job, you say, look, I'm going to learn from this job, and you know, I'll stick with it for a year or six months or two years, whatever it is, whatever makes sense. And while I'm doing this, I'll learn what I can, and then you know, I'll move on to, a, to another job. So I think career is, you know, that's what you want to build. And that comes from the same things I was talking about, having people know you, like you, trust you, have confidence in you, because you always you do what you say you're going to do. You have high integrity. And, uh, you know, L.A., it's a big city, but it's a small town. It's amazing how people come back. Someone who you're working for, you know, or works for you, they could be your boss someday, they could be your peer someday. And so, um, you know, it's, it, it's good to, to maintain those contacts and always have people think of you in a, in a good way, that you're, you know, a hard worker, have high integrity, and, um, and do what you say, and, and fun. It's good to have a little fun, too. What kind of advice would you give uh, to a regular college student today? Well, my, my advice for students is, no matter when you're listening to this interview, is to, uh, is to start building your contacts, even if you're early in your career, even if you're a senior, and uh, even, you know, even someone you know, my, in my position. You still want to continue to build contacts of people and uh, quality contacts. It's not quantity, it's quality of contacts. And people, you want to deal with people who you respect, who you really want to be like. Who you know? Who you want to you want to hang out with? Who you want to do business with? And uh, that's I think uh, um, you know very important to someone's career is to is to have have it's a relationship. Business is a relationship, and every business is relationship oriented, no matter what it is. Thank you so much for being here, Mr. Kim Deffenderfer. It's my advice. It's a pleasure. Thank you.